Like many other Queensland artists, my first ever gig was at a Woodford chalkboard. I fell in love there, got engaged there, learned how to write a song there, and did various other kinds of experimentation there that you probably don't need to hear about now. It even seems a bit absurd to me to think of it as just a festival. There's a reason so many people call it Woodfordia. To create and preserve a festival like this takes a very special kind of person. Bill Horitz has variously been described as a visionary, a madman, and an ideas man. As well as all, the, all of these things, he's also now the deserving winner of the Q Music Lifetime Achievement Award. Congratulations, Bill, and thank you for everything. The lovely thing about getting older and still in the job is that I've got a vision for 25 years of watching some wonderful musicians who have contributed to building something that we call Australian culture. It's about the people who live in the everyday world doing everyday things and the musicians and performers and artists who exist in the here and now right here and in this room who make such an incredible contribution to something really special. The winner of the song of the year uh, she kind of blew me away and I was very excited about the future of Queensland music. Beautiful Miss Emma Louise, song of the year. Put their souls on the line, they tell our stories, they really deserve a few bucks and not to live on starvation wages. The only way to do it is for you to go out and buy their records, you'll keep record shops alive and you'll keep the bands alive. It's the Middle East, with I want that you're always happy.
very much to everyone for coming tonight. Thank you for supporting the inaugural Queensland Music Awards. See you again next year.